we all know a conspiracy theorist. It may be that kid from school for not posting photos of chemtrails on your Facebook wall, or one of your uncles, listening to alternative radio stations and thinks that Obama is a reptilian wearing a suit of human skin. It is easy to laugh at them and congratulate ourselves for being smarter than them, but in doing so we are neglecting something important, they are winning. Yes, it is time to take seriously the conspiracy theorists, but not for the reasons they want to do it. Number 5. The more information there is, the harder it is to find information according to surveys of the time, just after JFK was assassinated. 52% of people thought there was some sort of conspiracy at stake. They were dark 60s, of course, and then we did not have access to our screen's iPhone to instantly find disproof of conspiracy theories, with simple explanations as the magic bullet. In the next 50 years, we have greatly increased the number of university graduates in the population and, as you know, Magically all human knowledge has been placed within the reach of almost everyone at any time. As a result, the 52% of believers amounted to a fucking 61%. The host. That means some of you who are reading this text, you believe in the JFK assassination conspiracy. But we are not here to insult you. It just means that you find out the conspiracy theories but not that experts long ago proved false. That's the point, all the information is out there, but for many of you, the only one I have had access was the one that is not supported by any evidence. And the same happens everywhere. 37% of Americans think global warming is a hoax perpetrated by a conspiracy of at least 30,000 scientists cooperating behind the scenes being part of a secret agenda. And then we have approximately 20% of the population that forms the hardline faction, and is believed to virtually any damn thing, since the, the United States government staged the September the 11th attacks to the existence of a conspiracy to hide evidence that we they are visited by aliens. And then there is the 28% who believe in a conspiracy that encompasses all others, and that is the existence of an elite simply driving in the shade, all events that occur in the world, from wars in the middle medium to the writing of this article. All of us are mere puppets. And here's a video explaining how Beoche is at the center of this plot. The ironic part is that the video above reveals a far more horrible truth that some Zionist bankers creating dark conspiracies and that the record label JZ colon the fact that access to information really does not make us smarter. Kosperoikos experts have a specific method. Thoroughly study the data available until you find something that confirms their beliefs. A strange shadow on a photo of the moon landing which somehow proves that the whole story was the most expensive and useless farce of all time. Seriously, if they were to falsify, could not they have put some aliens or something, that he should make more interesting? They ignored other evidence, so the vast amount of information available does not make them your job more difficult. During the September the 11th attacks, for example, the BBC reported on rumors that the Building 7 World Trade Center had collapsed, while the building was clearly visible in the background, collapse half an hour later. It was a simple misreading of a report, but experts' conspiracy was proof that the BBC was part of the staging of the attacks, along with all other news agencies, all government agencies, all scientists, and virtually all of the known world. The even more stupid theory that the Sandy Hook shooting never happened, managed to capture the popular media attention thanks to the reports and photographs expressed by conspiracy theorists. Any pixel in a picture that appears in the wrong place proves to have been altered with Photoshop, and any inappropriate word in a news story is proof of a cover-up. Believers in conspiracy theories can mount a forum to share their theories and ban and delete any dissenting view, 
creating a small sect which is ridiculous to believe that the murdered victims we see in the news are not robots or holograms. Go to comments on this link and prepare to blast your heads. A guy says that the slaughter of Sandy Hook was made by the same squad whose work began with the falsification of the death of Elvis and no one disagrees with it. So what if people believe in crazy things here and there? Well, it is the fact that hash for lame people are dying death we all have an unfortunate dysfunction in the brain that makes us hear minority views so much more audible than those of the majority. After all, what that faint little voice says is more interesting by sheer virtue of being different. Something like that you realize a red rose growing in the lawn, or rather a lonely turd, N of T, Soret for Argentine, on a white tile floor. Thus, when 99% of scientists agree that the benefits of vaccines far outweigh the risks, this is a dull background noise. But when, in 1998, the publication Medicathy Lancet published a single, solitary study showing a possible link between the MMR vaccine, measles, mumps and rubella measles, mumps and rubella, vaccine and autism, it caused a panic worldwide continues roaring 16 years after. The article was almost immediately discredited as a fraud, recanted with an apology, and the author expelled from the practice of medicine which as a scientist is almost as bad as saying fuck you to someone who is being pulled down a well. But the genius of the conspiracy had already left his lamp of baloney, and the beautiful real science could not get him back inside. The retraction of the article was seen as a whitewash, causing a rise of conspiracy theories revolving around pharmaceutical, apparently trying to kill us through vaccines. This is a clear symptom of the collapse of the human intellect, the mere fact that when an expert debunks a statement, ensures that people creates even more. The consequence of all this is that parents are failing to vaccinate their children, and are consequently living the resurgence of diseases such as whooping cough and measles. In 2012, the, the United States suffered its worst outbreak of whooping cough in 70 years. In Washington state, there were about 2,520 cases of illness, a 1,300% increase over the previous year, primarily because the state has the highest rates of parents who refuse vaccination. And additionally we are giving a terrible message to children with autism, better than you had died of measles. This website follows a casualty count, if you are interested. And this is where the conspiracy theories become lethal. Because of the fear that both scientists and pharmaceutical companies are together in the fraud, people tend to trust people who have no fucking idea what the fuck are you talking about, such as celebrities like Jenny McCarthy. It is quite true that every time a famous says the dangers of vaccination, a drop in vaccination rates occurs, taking three years to become to recover. And this is not only with vaccines. The Lancet published once a moot article linking genetically modified potatoes with intestinal damage. In this case, the publication knew they were probably baloney, but published it anyway to prevent the publication accuse of hiding the study. Why? Because there is a rejection against GMO foods based on the opinion of a minority that is becoming as damaging as the ATA vaccine. In early 2000, Zambia was hit by a devastating famine, and the, the United States sent humanitarian aid in the form of genetically modified grain. The country's president refused to accept it, calling it poison and kept all the grain in a safe place, advised by organizations such as Greenpeace, which allegedly this government about the dangers of eating genetically modified grain. No matter that there has not been a single documented case of damage caused by these foods. Number 3. It is a lucrative industry. Asterisk profit of course, this hysteria aims to increase distrust of corporations, which in itself is healthy. The corporations do not care about shit. 
General Motors apparently allowed a fatal flaw in security for a decade before bothering to claim the vehicles. But what conspiracy lovers do not understand is that they are also victims of a huge lucrative industry. Pay attention to History Channel, which went from broadcast documentaries on history, based programming reality shows, the quotes are sarcastic. His ratings soared through programs such as Conspiracy, Ancient Aliens and UFO Hunters. Back when his subject was the disclosure, History Channel was the 20 most popular cable, but since replacing Hitler by Little Green Men, has shot the top 5. Baloney Cell Anyway, nothing can compare to the money generated by professional radio monsters like Alex Jones and Glenn Beck. Through its own media empires, which covers print, radio, television, internet, and serum to revitalize the power of the penis, Jones and Beck reach 10 to 45 million per year respectively. Hell, the ass kissing them should be the Illuminati other source of income. How do you get rich doing this kind of thing? Well, if you listen to the program Beck. The first thing you hear is that invisible forces prepare to cause the total collapse of society, and then, in between, you will be informed that they are on sale kits emergency food when nuclear missiles inevitably start falling on American soil, just $9,500 and you can keep your family alive with dried rations throughout the imminent war, you love your family right, the other big advertisers are gold sellers because it is what you are going to use as currency when the government collapses. But do not ask why vendors want to give their gold in exchange for your American dollars will soon be useless. In another even more balmy side of the spectrum, Jones sells its own brand of health supplements to reverse the damage it is causing in the body fluorine the government added in the water supply to kill you, and chemicals spread on you by aircraft, which the government has the audacity to call them contrails. Of course, these two are just a couple of the most successful examples. It is an emerging market with lots of competition. Only Fiharos in Davidic, the British participant of this circus, famous for arguing that the moon is not real and that the world is run by alien reptiles metamorphic. Laugh all you want, but this guy has an estimated wealth of 10 million pounds based on accumulated sales of books and expensive conferences that are filled to the brim. They attract both people really interested in extraterrestrial reptilians, as those who come to see a guy humbling himself for more than an hour. But so much money about like the others, some. The conclusion is that there is a whole industry that lives conspiracy, and therefore needs to make conspiracies to survive. So when the Navy Yard shootings occurred in September 2013, Jones immediately declared it as an attack by false flag designed to gain support in favor of gun control law. Is that Malaysia Airlines flight that clearly crashed into the ocean? Just moments after the news produced, Jones had the exclusive that the plane could have been turned into a nuclear weapon wheel. In this video warns that Abamakar is simply a prelude to genocide, all this indicates is that these authors want to earn money without working. Number 2. They are bringing out the worst in people. I want to believe and this is where things start to get weird. We have already commented that people love these theories despite the lack of evidence. We could say that people want to believe as the UFO poster says Fox Mulder's office. But at the same time, conspiracy theories make us miserable. Studies have found that people who believe in conspiracy theories tend to be more cynical in life, feel more powerless, and have almost no self-esteem. All this contributes to a much more angry population, and conspiracy theorists are not shy about releasing his anger on those who do not share their vision. These kooks Cosperoy cause theme Sandy Hook not only adhere to their forums. They have Estado Desfigurado monuments to the victims and harassing the parents of the deceased children, 
you know, not telling the truth about being actors actually paid by the Illuminati. Or ask Charlie Veitch, a theoretical old conspiracy of S11, which later changed his mind. After leaving on YouTube to admit that no longer thought the 11S was an inside job, I had to hide when thousands of conspiracy theorists around the world made him a target of death threats. Someone got in touch with her mother to tell that Veitch was a pedophile and Alex Jones is engraved calling him sociopath. Call us crazy, but it's almost like conspiracy theories turn to people assholes. Science seems to agree, by the way. An experiment in 2011 sat at British University students, and after Alagio Arlo's with popular conspiracy theories as the 11S or the JFK assassination, asked if they would help bring them out if given the chance. Those who believed the conspiracy theories were far more inclined to say yes. And the group was also the most inclined to deceive people pursue their own purposes. After all, why play according to the rules of society if the whole thing is a scam? And now we begin to see what may be the real thing, carcinogenic effect of all this. Number 1. They make it impossible to fix the real problems. Transformers on another occasion, Stanford University conducted a study in which he was shown to a group of participants the film JFK, a fiction film by Oliver Stone that turned on the idea that Kennedy was assassinated by a conspiracy within the, the United States government. The film is not a documentary and claims not include any decision or actual witnesses. It is evidence that the JFK assassination was a conspiracy in the same way that the third Transformers movie is evidence that the Apollo moon landing mission discovered the Decepticos on the dark side of the moon. However, the forms completed by participants after watching the film showed that most left with feelings of anger and despair, and a general lack of willingness to accept the official story. They reported later that they felt disillusioned with politics and less enthusiastic about voting. After all, what does it matter? You are voting for Zionist Freemasons Illuminati New World Order you choose whom you choose. In another study, people who heard conspiracy theories about global warming were less interested in reducing their contribution to carbon production. In both cases, the theory gave them the excuse to do what they wanted to do anyway, happen. So the conspiracy theories end up being the tokomoko in which the fictional version of the problem absorbs energy that otherwise would be actually employed in making things better. Meanwhile, others will give the coconut trying to refute these theories, as if providing information really meant something. To try to stem the rising tide of kids falling sick with measles because their parents are afraid of the bogeyman autism science has been forced to pump money into the matter again and again, providing study after study showing the lack of relationship. That money could have been used in researching cancer cures or to develop better vaccines. Or even a serum to inject Jenny McCarthy in the brain that directly eliminated stupidity but instead he is sponsoring studies to refute the same old slogans about autism and vaccines. And all this is useless, because for conspiracy theorists whole new evidence is just another proof that men in the shade are working against them. If you have no danger why are there so many scientists doing studies? And while reports on climate change and its increasing and terrifying effects continue to accumulate, we are still trying and failing, to convince people that it is real and caused by humans. Hell, even President Obama has had to take the trouble to go to the country to show his birth certificate. All this strange glitch in the human mind that makes us gravitate around the most unlikely version of an event, then congratulate ourselves for having the courage to face these experts telling us we're damn wrong. If you can find the solution to fix this, well, congratulations for having saved the world.